start with the formula so what is our formula c8 h8 o so first thing we have now the next thing that we are going to do is find the ihd so what can you tell me what is the ihd students can you tell me the ihd for this what is the formula of ihd 2c plus 2 minus h divided by 2 calculate the ihd for this quickly five okay now what do you think five could be five could be five double bonds five rings it could be uh, two triple bonds one double bond it is anything okay now what exactly it is we will find out from the other data okay now which value do you think is significant over here let's let's go for ir what did i tell you about ir i'll go back to the values just look at the values there are so many values and not necessarily you have to remember all the values okay now here are the important values what did i tell you which values you have to remember oh and c double bond o c double bond o is around 1670 to 1780 and oh is around 3400 to 3600 so just remember this write this down and tell me from these values what functional group should be present over here what do you think which value is familiar to you yes very good 1690 what is 1690 1690 yeah yes c double bond to okay so you know that our functional group is c double bond to so out of c8 h8 one of the group is what c double bond to now c double bond to can be an aldehyde okay it can be a ketone c double bond o is also present in acid but if it was acid there were two oxygens but there was on, there is only one oxygen given so acid is ruled out so either it could be an aldehyde or it could be a ketone right now what it could be we can find out from the nmr structure so see in spite of so many values of ir you don't have to remember all the values only one or two values are enough to predict the ir functional group are you understanding this okay now let's go for nmr look carefully what is written in nmr 2.6 ppm 3h singlet now how to read this the signal is at 2.6 3h means that carbon has three hydrogens so which carbon will have three hydrogens ch3 so straight away you come to know which group is present ch3 group is present right and the signal for ch3 is singlet now can you tell me what does a singlet doublet triplet quartet indicate anyone yes singlet doublet triplet quartet what do they indicate they nay they indicate the num neighboring protons okay i'll quickly go through that if it is a doublet if you're if you're getting a doublet doublet means this type of signal that means the neighboring protons should be one so what is the splitting n plus 1 if it is 1 you will get a doublet 1 means if the neighbor is having one proton suppose you are getting a triplet triplet looks like this that means the neighboring proton should have neighboring carbon should have two protons if you are getting a quartet quartet looks like this that means neighboring proton should have neighboring carbon should have how many protons anyone so doublet 4 no no 4 no not 4 3h3 yes yes it gives you the it's it gives you the number of protons on the neighboring carbon so when i say singlet that means on the neighboring carbon there is no proton so splitting is not taking place is that clear to you hmm? okay just just keep this in mind okay we'll now see more examples and you'll get a better idea of everything now i told you anything between 7 and 8 what is this anything in the range of 7 what are these which protons are these hmm? benzene 
benzene protons so now you know that there should be a benzene ring right now what is the formula of benzene ring c6h6 but it is a substituted ring so we will see how many hydrogens but your all carbons are sorted right so all six carbons how many carbons are left now out of eight carbons six carbons are in the benzene ring so how many carbons are left two carbons are left out of those two carbons one carbon is belonging to c double bond o and one carbon is having ch3 right okay can you people try to find out what structure this could be what it could be anyone you just have to now you have three parts one is the benzene one is the c double bond o and one is ch3 you just have to arrange all these part together and you will get a structure can anyone predict what could be the structure yes students how can i arrange so there i can arrange it this way i'll take a benzene ring i'll simply put c double bond o ch3 is this possible is it possible is there any other structure you think is possible anyone let's write all possible structures can i have this type of structure can i have this second structure we can you match with the molecular formula find the molecular formula for the first structure what is the molecular formula for this structure where is my cursor what is the molecular formula for this structure c6 7 8 so here it is having c8 let's find the hydrogens five hydrogens 6 7 8 and one oxygen so this is having ch8h2o this is also having ch8h2o so both are having the same structure then which could be the correct structure anyone which could be the correct structure first structure or second structure and if yes why do you think the second or the first structure is correct you have to give reasons now let me solve this for you you whenever you have a doubt which structure is possible always match the nmr signals when i have two nmr signals that means i have only two types of protons so this is one type of proton and this is the second type of proton that is why i am having only two signals in nmr in this case i am having three types of proton one is for a one is for b and this whole benzene ring is having a third type of proton so how many signals should i get for this type of structure three signals and the first structure should give me how many signals only two signals so as per our data given how many signals we are getting only two signals so our first structure is correct are you getting this now this is your first numerical you will get better idea when we solve more numerical so i want you people to now in your case at your level you will you are not going to get graphs as such but i have just uh, you know uh, use this graph to make you understand how the spectra is look like this is the numerical that you will be getting for your exam okay for interpretation fine okay now i want you people to at least give me some inputs okay so this is a formula c8h10 hm formula is for c8h8 uh, sorry c8h10o okay it's having a oxygen fine there is a there are peaks many peaks in ir there are total four peaks which peak do you think is important to you and what does it tell you can anyone tell me four peaks are there i told you you don't have to buy out all the peaks there would be just one or two peaks which are important to you out of these four peaks in ir which peak do you think you can predict the functional group 
anyone 1350 which peak do you think is it of oh very good it is this peak look at this peak this is your 3350 ka peak this peak is for oh oh peaks are generally broad peaks okay this is how oh peak. so now you know that the functional group is oh so we are done with ir forget about the other ir values now we will go for nmr okay now can anyone tell me from nmr what do you think let let me ask you for this what is do you think is yes 7 to 8 ppm is benzene ring so out of the eight carbons six carbons come in the benzene ring only right okay now what about this it's a triplet at 3.3 ppm so delta 3.3 ppm triplet what do you think is proton will be ch2 very good very good so one of the group you have identified as ch2 hmm? again there is a 2.86 ppm triplet again a triplet so what do you think if it's a triplet again the neighboring will be what what should be the neighbor if it is a triplet neighbor will be triplet means three so when you are finding the neighbor you just subtract one so triplet means three three minus one is two so it will be ch2 similarly triplet is over here so the neighboring proton will be again ch2 so now you have identified two groups in fact three groups one is the benzene ring one is the ch2 again the third one is ch2 and you have also identified oh now just check the carbons six carbons are here seven eight carbons are done can anyone tell me what the structure will look like try to draw all possible structures in your book and then we will write down these structures and match with our data can anyone tell me what the structure might look like come on kaise dekhega structure start with the benzene ring you want to draw a structure Thuk, benzene ring rikala abhi ch2 ko arrange karna hai this ch2 you have to arrange and you have to arrange the oh how are you going to arrange the two ch2 groups and oh group kaise kaise arrange karoge come on yes. ch2 ch2 oh and see there is a singlet and what is written small broad peak i told you know oh peaks you get from 1 to 5 and they are how do they look like they look like this but here it is a big peak so forget about that so it is a small broad peak okay any other structure which is possible anyone can you have something like this is it possible suppose a student draws this structure is this structure possible if this was possible this could give you a singlet this will give you a, this will also give you a singlet because oh is present this will give you a singlet but your peaks are multiplet triplet triplet so this is not possible so the only structure that is possible is this now you match with the NMR. So this peaks you are going to get at 7 to 8. This will give you a triplet because of CH2. This will also give you a triplet because of the splitting of the neighboring proton CH2. And this OH will give you a singlet because that H is attached to oxygen. Okay. Now only NMR is given and you have to predict the structure. So let's see who can do this formula is this i want all of you to try this come on tell me what groups will be present if you have this type of nmr hello students you have a quartet you have a singlet at 3.69 you have a 3.5 quartet you have 2.88 triplet even without the values you would be able to predict the structures just by looking at whether it is singlet quartet or triplet okay 
let's start with okay let's start with singlet what do you think the neighboring proton would be hello singlet hai to uske neighbor mein kuch hoga kya if it is a no so nothing okay if it is 3.5 if it's a quartet what would be the neighboring proton i think students are trying to join uh quartet hai to what would be the neighboring proton here nay nee, ch2 ka search na ch3 right yes very good and if it is triplet then very good so now you have some idea what would be the groups ek ch3 to confirm hai ek ch2 confirm hai right okay now you just have to arrange these four carbons so when you have this type of group so you know that one is ch3 one is ch2 this is confirm so you just subtract that many carbons and hydrogen from this so if you subtract that ek ch3 ch2 ho gaya so what is left now one carbon is left two carbons are left how many hydrogens are left two hydrogens are left and two oxygens are left now how you going to arrange this think it is 8 make this correction this is 8 abhi karo abhi karo so three hydrogens are left here hmm now where should i put oh here now if i put oh i get one a b c d i should get four signals no am i having four signals i am having only three signals that means this structure is wrong try it to some other arrangement try some other arrangement okay ch3 ch2 cooh right but is it matching the formula here you are getting only three carbons but here you are having four carbons so this is also not possible something else anything else four carbons hai tumko four carbons arrange karna hai so suppose i just simply write four carbons like this usme se i put ch3 ch2 which is confirmed now ye do carbons ka hi tumko structure find out karna hai na so what uh i say again what is it ch3 ch2 okay 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 how, how many signals do you think you will get here a b c d four signals no because they are different you will get a tri triplet for here you will get a multiplet for here you are going to get a triplet for here and you are going to get a singlet for here but see how what your signals look like so this is also not possible anyone else come on you are very close to this if you are getting a singlet that means there should not be any neighboring proton on it any other structure which is possible hmm again i'll write the four carbons in the straight line ch3 ch2 is confirmed it's a singlet that means there should not be any neighboring proton so if i anyone else anyone can 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 anyone get at least try a structure suppose maine ch3 dala iske baju mein koi proton hai hi nahi just match your structure with this three signals this will give you a singlet this will give you a quartet right and this will give you a triplet isn't it matching you can have this type of structure also no right see once you understand this solving these numericals is is fun i'll tell you it's really fun i want you people to try this i i'll 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 see if i can post this video on youtube you can again watch this 
and try solving more numericals in the next lecture we will solve more numericals okay so 